Hey everyone, today I'll be walking you through how to get your VPN set up step by step, including which options are best, whether you're after the highest level of privacy, streaming support, or just the best value overall. I'll also cover what to expect from the setup process and how you can get the most out of your subscription right from the start. And if you're interested, you'll find links to any current discounts or reviews in the description, so feel free to check those out. So once you've decided on a VPN, whether that's ExpressVPN, NordVPN, or Surfshark, the first thing you'll want to do is sign up for your plan. After subscribing, you'll get either a set of login credentials or a special activation code, which you'll use in the app. Now from there, just download and install the VPN app for your device. I'll be demonstrating this on Windows 10, but the process is nearly identical on Mac, Android, and iOS. After the app is installed, open it up and sign in with the details you received at checkout. Keep in mind, you can technically download the app before subscribing, but it won't actually work until you have an active account. So once you're logged in, go ahead and test things out to make sure everything's working as expected. Now for the demonstration, let's say you want to access content from another country. For example, if you want to watch a show on Netflix that's only available in France, like Under the Dark Sun, all you need to do is open the VPN app, choose France from the list of server locations, and hit connect. The app will take care of the rest, and in just a few seconds, you'll be assigned a French IP address. At this point, you can verify your new IP right in the app, or with any online tool, like whatismyip.com, if you'd like to double check. Once you're connected, you'll be able to access the whole French Netflix library, including the show Under the Dark Sun, just as if you were actually in France. It's also great for bypassing regional restrictions on other streaming libraries, getting around sports blackouts, or just adding an extra layer of privacy to your browsing. Now when it comes to choosing the right VPN, there are really three providers that stand out from the rest, ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. All three support features like a kill switch, reliable torrenting, and streaming on services like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. But where they differ is in pricing, features, and a few extra perks that might make one a better fit for you than another. I'm always testing these myself, and these three continue to deliver the most consistent performance overall. So let's start off with ExpressVPN. This is the service I'd recommend if your top priorities are privacy, security, and a user-friendly experience. It's best known for its strong no-logs policy which has been backed up by more than 19 independent audits and even proven in real-world situations where servers were seized and no user data was found. For security, ExpressVPN runs all of its servers using trusted server technology, which means everything runs on RAM, so nothing gets stored long-term. They've also developed their own lightweight protocol for even better speeds, and the latest lightweight turbo feature gives an extra boost to performance on Windows devices. In terms of what you get, ExpressVPN consistently bypasses regional restrictions on over 100 streaming platforms worldwide and offers more than 3,000 servers in 105 countries. You can connect up to eight devices at the same time, and it works well on just about every major operating system and device out there. Now, if you're someone who doesn't want to compromise on privacy, or you just want something that's always going to be reliable and easy to use, ExpressVPN is a great choice. And while Express does cost a little more than the competition, it's well worth it for the high level of security and reliability you get. But if you want the highest level of peace of mind for your online activity, this is where Express really shines. Next up is NordVPN, which is a great all-around choice for anyone looking for speed, performance, and a really solid set of features. Nord has an independently audited no-logs policy and its server infrastructure is also top-notch, with all servers running on RAM and many being co-located, which just means Nord has even more control over security. Their proprietary Nord Lynx protocol keeps its connections incredibly fast with only about a 3% average speed loss, so it's one of the best options for streaming, gaming, or torrenting. And NordVPN has over 7,800 servers spread across more than 160 locations, so you're never short on options. Feature-wise, you get things like threat protection, which blocks ads, trackers, and malware, as well as MeshNet, which makes it easy to set up secure private networks between your devices. 
NordVPN also offers double VPN and onion over VPN options if you want even more privacy, and you can connect up to 10 devices at once. For anyone who likes to stream or torrent, Nord is excellent, and it's especially popular with gamers thanks to its low latency. Price-wise, it's a bit more affordable than ExpressVPN, with a two-year plan coming in at a little over $3 per month. The only real downside is that NordVPN's apps are packed with features, so they can feel a little overwhelming if you're brand new to VPNs. And if you're planning to use your VPN in China, performance there can vary quite a bit. And finally, there's Surfshark. This is a great option if you're looking for the best value or need to cover a lot of devices on a tight budget. Surfshark is known for its low price, just under $2 a month for the two-year starter plan. And the really big benefit here is you can use it on unlimited devices with a single subscription. So if you have a lot of tech in your house, or if you want to share your VPN with family members, this is a huge plus. Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, so finding a good connection is rarely an issue. It covers all the basics like a kill switch, fast speeds, and solid support for streaming and torrenting. On top of that, you get some helpful extras, including clean web for blocking ads and trackers, dynamic multi-hop for double VPN routes, bypasser for split tunneling, and IP rotator for a bit more privacy. If you're traveling or living in a region with restrictions, there are also special modes like no borders and camouflage to help get around those blocks. Performance-wise, Surfshark does really well, especially for streaming. It's also started offering extra bundles for things like antivirus and personal data removal if you want an all-in-one security package. The main trade-off is that Surfshark is based in the Netherlands, which falls under the Nine Eyes jurisdiction, but that's mostly offset by their no-logs policy. And if you plan to use your VPN in China, just know that results can vary depending on your internet provider. As with the others, you'll find any current discounts or bundles linked down below. And all three options offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can try them out and make sure they work for your needs. So just to quickly sum things up, ExpressVPN is the premium pick for anyone who wants top-tier privacy, security, and the smoothest overall experience. NordVPN is your best bet if you're after great speeds, a feature-rich app, and a lower price. And Surfshark is the way to go for anyone who wants to cover unlimited devices or needs something that fits a tighter budget. All three are great choices, so it really comes down to which features matter most for your situation. Hopefully, you found this guide helpful. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. If you have any questions at all, just drop them in the comments below. I love getting to answer as many as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.